Mayday, Mayday! This is Commander Twitchy of the great ship Nostromos! I am in great trouble! I am last seen in orbit around Uranus! Crew all dead! I repeat, crew dead! I am the last survivor! Please come in! Help me, please! Oh, I'm picking up your signal! Oh, oh I'm so sleepy. They just, just got out of this drop pod. I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming! Please, please! Wait, I'm yeah. just about to hit the ice! Oh, I've got a parachute. Oh, 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 it's not quite as urgent as I thought it was. I'm still in trouble. Please, please, dear respondent, come and help. Well, we better, we better put it in high gear then. All right, where's he at? Where's he at? Uh, signal. I see a bunch of signals over 10 kilometers away. We can't, oh no, is that 10? Three, ten. It keeps giving me different numbers. I'll go with three kilometers away. Three sounds very helpful. Three kilometers. There's a blue dot over that way. Please help. Please oh, help. Way. I'm going to leave my entire starting pod behind. I I, I feel like I, I could probably do better with my friends or my future friends over at this ice base alpha, as I'm being told. Commander's log. Start date two minutes. The icy wastes are starting to drive my mind a little crazy as I wander forwards towards this marker. What will I find out there? What mysteries of life will be solved unto me? I'm not entirely sure. I just... It's, it's so, so cold. So very cold. Oh, you know what I should have got? I'm going back my hydrogen tank. <laughs> I see my friend on the very verge of the snow over there, sometimes getting mixed up with the platinum sauce, but uh, I, th I feel like I feel like I will be reunited with humanity after all. Is that you there? Hello! I am flying oh. across. That is That's quite the, the buggy. <laughs> Break dance. Ah! Oh. oh, did I, did I really just kill myself across the thing? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, se I seem to have respawned at the base. What wonder of technology is this where I, where I meet you and am welcomed into your home so freely? <laughs> oh, I've got to, got to remember that gravity is a thing to watch out for. If I, if I wouldn't jump off it in real life, I probably shouldn't jump off it here. Okay, I'm just going to leave my body and tools behind. A, a, a monument to my, my hubris. <laughs> I see you've uh, set up amongst the uranium, magnesium, and, and something else. Oh, we had a massive meteor storm that came down really close to us, uh, so that's what all these craters are about. That sounds terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of hoping when I found people I'd be saved, but this this sounds like I'm, uh, I might still be in trouble. Do I have any progression? I don't have any progression. Uh, so the easy way to grab that progression is to grind down one of the things you need. And, and then just, just put it back, back together. My, well, truly, truly life is better with friends. Okay, I, I, I need to get on the assembler then first. This is uh, quite quite the base you've got here. So I'm noticing that you've got a hookup for your rover. That takes the conveyor down. I cut. Ah, oh, there's the assembler. Okay, beautiful. All right, here we go. Yeah. It's time to get brutal. <laughs> you probably will need a basic assembler. I don't think we have one of those anymore. Is this not a basic assembler? No, that's, a, that's an actual assembler. I'm actually going to go steal the bits from my drop pod because it's just over there. Three kilometers is nothing. No, it's actually real easy travel with your jetpack. I need a, a method of conveyance. I, I think this might be a, like, use, using my uh, my jetpack is a wonderful last resort that we can use when and when it is necessary, but we're on so much ice. Uh, are, are skis a thing? Is that is that technology that, that we possess? I feel like I, I want a skidoo. I mean, I'd like to know whether I can turn off the, uh, the landing foot and use that as a front ski. <laughs> yes, actually, you could do that. Try, I'm try, trying to think of a good pun for the early game grind. <laughs> Even though it had only been my shelter for the duration of the free fall from orbit to, to the land, I'm going to miss this thing. If I remember correctly, the only thing I couldn't get off of this to make the assembler was the energy displays. Low. Oh, energy low. Oh, no. It's wonderful that we all seem to have this uh, totally innate knowledge of the uh, complex electromechanical systems at play here. You can just rip things apart and know exactly what's inside everything. There is definitely an unknown signal just over there. Oh, you should always check those out. I've got stuff in them. I'm going to go check out this un... Oh, no, no, no. I, um, I, I need to know where the uh, the power can be drawn from. My, my suit has oh. been making persistent complaints for a little while now. Sneaky noises. Uh, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can use the survival kit. You can sit in the chair, and that'll recharge you as well. well yeah, I'll go. Survival kit will recharge your oxygen and hydrogen as well, and heal you. 
Wonderful. I'm gonna take a load off for a little bit. Be, be chill. Here, I'll show you the better way to uh, charge. You probably really need to do this too. Why don't you come right around here? Follow my guest. Uh, follow my host. Thank you. Oh, here you go. The bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. I could. Thanks. Oh, you can charge your batteries just, on there. Ooh. <laughs> Been a while. I was up in orbit for oh, a couple of hours. Oh, shame about the crew. <laughs> All right, th th thanks for that. Thanks very much. What have we got? Cryo chambers. These are cryo chambers, so when you log out, make sure you're in one of them. Okay. Or you'll lose all the stuff in your inventory. Your, your character actually stays in game, and you will eventually die. Maybe. Okay, I did not know that. Okay, yeah, cryo chamber, very important. Oh. Just turned me into a piece of cargo. So this is Lord Raccoons, uh, a man I assume in the, who is in the uh, cryo chambers right now. Very nice. It's also very blue. I can't help noticing that whilst I saw that drawbridge be pulled up, my 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 vision was drawn to this dart miner. That's that's a beast up there. It's it's covered in thrusters. It's it's ready to go. Yeah, it's got to have a lot of thrust because it's meant to bring back a pretty good sized hall of ore. Yeah, the w the way it's sat up on the top of the base really uh, really drew my eye to it. Drew my eye to it. You want to see if you can crash it? No, oh, totally. Uh, you know I will, right? I haven't, I haven't driven anything for a while. Oh yeah. This member has got a lot of momentum. Right now it's unloaded, so it's it's highly maneuverable. But once it gets loaded, it's a little sluggish. Yeah, yeah. I, could, I, I like the, the the cockpit upgrade since I last saw the inside. Uh, there's a nice uh, there's a nice readout in there. Artificial horizon and stuff. Okay, now for the hardest bit of any journey. Put it down without breaking it. And gently, gently, well, gently. Oh, yeah. Don't even have to go in it. You can send it out by itself. <laughs> Mildly terrifying. Uh, the beautiful part about this yep. is one, if you set up a waypoint for it to return to, you can go out and mine and then clear the mine with the, you know, you'll get out of the mine first, then turn the autopilot turn autopilot on it'll fly back by itself or you can continue to do stuff at the base while you're waiting for it to come back i am at literally a little bit blown away by that 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 is amazing that's 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 a level of automation that's highly desirable when i first got this guy i think i'm pretty sure i said this already in another episode when i first got this game i did not like it did not like it one bit because it, it just you know, lacked so many features and didn't have survival and it was very crashy yeah so i didn't play it for like five years <laughs> And then I came back to it, and I was like, oh, this game's cool now. Yeah, they're, they're, so I, my personal gripe, I feel like they've made it needlessly complex. Uh, to the point, my, my favorite example is, uh, as, as I'm doing right now, I'm having to go around and collect up a whole bunch of materials to make the assembler. I mean, fair enough, that's fine, but I can't vary any of those materials at any point. So why am I getting all these different materials? <laughs> So there's still plates at the bottom of the construction list and still plates at the top of the construction list. Do they do uh, anything specific? Like, yes. no, it's just extra steps along the way, you know? The kind of, like, the bottom of the list is what it takes to build the structure. The top of the list is what it takes to build the function. Okay, cool, cool. So could I put extra bottom, uh, extra of those bottom steel plates in to give it extra hardness points, for instance? Yeah, that. Oh, that would be an awesome thing to do. Yeah, yeah a, probably some sort of balance. Yeah, yeah, but like you, you could like put so many materials in. It's like say you wanted extra displays, well, you would have to take some of the steel plates away, or maybe you wanted it to work faster, so you'd put extra motors in. But again, you'd have to take something away for that to work. Um, uh, uh, yeah. I like where you're going with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I like where I'm going with it as well. Funny enough. <laughs> okay, I need some displays. I'm, I'm okay. assuming that your this base. Is, this is. A oh. This is a good learning opportunity. Learning. Uh, since you put this down, right? If you walk up to it and uh, right-click it, it will add it to your build plan. With your welder and right-click. Um, components added to build planner. Then if you middle mouse click while holding shift on any of the ports anywhere on the grid, it'll pull the components from all over the grid into your inventory that you need. All components were successfully added to production. Did that say that? I looked away to oh, be annoyed. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. It's I've also it's got a bunch of stuff in my inventory now that I don't think I had before. Let's let's have a look and see. Okay. Shift middle click will tell the 
it to build all the stuff. Okay. And just regular middle click will pull it out. Okay. Um, so now that I've shift clicked, I will regular middle click. Cannot display. Which is good. Because... It's still making, so I, I need to wait. That's fine. Uh, you might be inventory full. Alt middle click will deposit everything that's not tools. All possible components were deposited. Oh wow, look at that, beautiful. One other thing that I've just noticed, I have just seen my hydrogen bottle is a little bit empty. Where would I go to fill my bottle? The only place we have right now, because um, is down here. That's our main hydrogen store right there. This one, okay, brilliant, thank you. And also lad ladders of the last century. I'm use my jetpack everywhere. <laughs> okay, so I walked up a middle click. Let's have a look at what what overvalued here. Something said I couldn't get it, but a few computers. I'm not quite volumed out, though I do have a hundred kilograms of mass on me. I'm not sure what my like what my dude can carry. Is it all volume? It's uh, basically off the volume. Mass um, comes into play when you're talking about like the cargo in an inventory of a machine or something. Okay, yeah. You kind of move it around. So if like a volume of a volume of gold ore that's equal to a volume of iron ore is going to be a different mass. Yes, yeah, very much. So yeah, and indeed, volume would be how much you could like physically pack into the box, and then the mass is how hard it is to move that box. Totally, totally. Well, I think yep. I've done the thing that is required of me for this progression. Boom! A whole bunch of stuff opened. Wonderful, wonderful. What do I need? I need a uh, a landing gear. That's Basic. the next thing. I'm just gonna rip this. Throw down. basic refinery. Wait, before you do that, throw basic refinery on it, and, uh, and then we'll rip them both down. Basic refinery. Okay, there we go. Let's pop that on the bar as well. Number seven. Can it attach to this? Yeah. Uh, you need steel plates. Of course, I need steel plates. There's no way of uh, telling it that you want a bunch of stuff uh, on the the build planner, if you will, before you actually put that that item down. Is there? So if you have nothing currently in your build planner and you have a block that you're trying to build selected and you middle click the place where you're trying to put it, it will add it to the build planner automatically. Hit G and it'll show your build planner in the bottom right. Build planner it says empty. Click to add selected block variant or drag. Okay. Yeah, I see it. I see it. So then I would just grab this from this from here, pop it in there. Okay, there we go. There, there is there is one thing I'd like to pick holes in. I'm fairly sure Triton is ice all the way down, but you know, whatever. <laughs> actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to research that. Actually, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Well, isn't the heist made of, uh, of a not even water, or is that? Am I thinking of the room? That's Titan. The yeah, Titans made no. Ti so Titan has water in the same way we have silicon. Um, so it what well, silicon dioxide. So it, all its rocks are made out of water, and then where we have water, they have like methane and hydrocarbons to flow over. That that's Titan. I'm gonna leave my energy running super low <laughs> on screen so people can panic about it. Well, actually, you want to let it run all the way out at once. Yeah. If you let it run all the way out and you make it to a chamber or a seat to recharge before you die, you get an accomplishment. Oh, I'm totally over it. Let's do it then. We're at nine percent now. It's all right, we're gonna let it run down. So I've, I've done those two. I believe that is now the majority of the stuff that I'm ever gonna to need to do. Anything anything else, I'm probably gonna to have to just rip down and pick, pick back up. That's no problem. Yeah, or you'll just get it from naturally building. All right, well, let's put this all back into your into your cargo box. Whee! That, that's teamwork, buddy. That's teamwork. <laughs> Makes the dream work. Apparently they've added quite a lot of um, quality of life stuff recent in the recent addition addition yes yeah i i, ha I had actually heard about this this is one of the reasons why i wasn't so disappointed when you asked me to come along i mean i'm always always happy to come play games with you lot you know it's uh good fun i am i am about to about to die um zero uh no one sorry now we're at zero do I, do I wait for it to complain at me again, or do I just get in now? There wait, we go. wait for you to take a little yeah, health that, damage. That was, that was a little bit of health there. Hey, good morning, guys. Good. Hey, I wake you? up from my slumber here in my tripod. The space police today. Did you get recruited? Uh, no, not really, but that's a uh, good uniform, right? Ah, so you're in disguise. Oops, you got me. <laughs> I guess I guess if they think you're one of them, they won't arrest you. Well, that's my plan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we are a pirate. Then. Yeah. Arr. Arr. Yeah. <laughs> Look what I put. Look what I did. They got an ice scrape around the back of the trailer now. So they'll swing out, swing down, and then it just kind of drags behind. 
um, the torque on the pith on the hinges isn't so terrible that it'll interfere too much. It'll just scrape the ground as you go. So this is for road making, right? Uh, sort of, yeah. You can, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, definitely yeah, use it, it for, for, for road making. <laughs> definitely could. We got to get away from this cratered area, though, as soon as possible. But uh, I'm getting ready to go down to the flat ice and start building the mega rover. Yeah, I spent pretty much the, the night working on my build there on my, my little truck. Yeah, with a few changes here. Uh, one of them is that now I'm using a full blast door ramp. So I don't need to add I the know, blast I like as it well on the bottom. So I just added the ramp and that's it. Do you have and, a button inside for closing the doors and stuff? Uh, not yet. Is in, in the cockpit? Yes. But uh, then you, I'm going to add a button. And then, uh, I don't know if you noticed what I did. Over here, I've added a solar tracking panel. This panel tracks the sun. Ooh. Well, in, in one axis. I, uh, I'm actually thinking about taking and moving it over to its own tower, like a little over to the side, and giving it a double axis so that it can fully track yeah. it. Uh, use a double axis is way better. And it's giving us our outputs and stuff on this nice little display. Yeah, I know that that's amazing work. Oh. If you uh, jump into the doom the doom buggy here, the doom buggy, and check and check out its displays. Now hold Alt, and you can look down. Okay, yeah. Cockpit. Yeah. Oh, we got speed, acceleration, power output. How much is in the batteries? Oh wow, this one on the right is just everything. A full full systems rundown. And then on the right is actually where you read out your hydrogen tank. Yeah and stuff like that because the the game interface combines all the hydrogen so the hydrogen in the engine doesn't count for the thrusters uh -huh, okay and if i didn't have that display i wouldn't know when i'm about to fall out of the sky i'm almost tempted to go has anybody else noticed the unknown signal just over you get go grab it I'm, yeah I'm, grab it it's, it's again really close three kilometers i've got a gun so i mean why would i feel scared of anything european with a gun i don't know what i'm doing uh. <laughs> oh, it's very calming, just kind of like flying on over here. Boop, boop, boop. Hello, little machine. You, you are literally just a little machine. Set up panels, buttons. Okay. Try your luck at getting a new special item. Oh, we got a new drill. Oh, the leopard drill. Is the rest just? Uh, oh, we got some stuff in here. Construction components, an enhanced welder. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. And some th space credits. Yeah. <laughs> I am in constant fear of slamming into the base too fast. <laughs> <laughs> What's really funny is if you slam into each other, you both die. Oh, oh beautiful, beautiful. There's got to be a, a sport there, right, where you uh, launch yourself at each other as hard as you can, and then it's almost like a tug of war. If the bodies fall one side of the line, that side win, and if the bodies fall the other side of the line, that side win. Alright, well, I think that pretty much goes over the basics the next thing would be to if you need any help building your first vehicle well i i had actually started to get on with it a little bit just put down a, a, a landing leg and put some slopes on it to see what would happen um but i ran out of energy so i came flying back and then i've turned around and come out here and uh i can't can't see it <laughs> i i have a feeling it's been picked up by some sort of like debris collection service <laughs> 500 meters. 500, 500 meters. meters. Yeah. If it has no power source, it will be it will be collected. Aha! I will bear that in mind for the future. <laughs> All right, I'll come. I'll come back up here and build it. <laughs> uh, cup for coloring. He opens the color wheel. If you want to change color on stuff. E. Oh, look at that color picker. That is quite a a full hue spectrum to go with. Oh, that's nice. And some textures. Yeah, you can change each one of those presets to whatever you want. Oh, I, I like the way they're doing the classic. Oh, do you want these textures by the DLC? Uh, yeah. Well, the nice thing is, is we have all the we have lots of DLC components around. Okay. But it doesn't stop you from playing. You just can't build them. But you can still play with them. We, if you want a DLC component, let me know because I have all of the DLC. I, I will bear that in mind. I've not found anything yet. It was just uh, just showing me. Oh, this tier three welder is so nice. Oh, that's right. I picked up an improved uh, to the tools. That's character tools. There we go. There we go. Enhanced welder. Get, get this cheap and rubbish, nasty tat out of my inventory. Not, not even gonna break it down. Get out of it. Go on. Sure. 
Actually, that's just gonna annoy yeah, me. Yeah, it's not worth. Yeah, it's not worth breaking those things down. They don't give you hardly anything. Can I grind at it? No. <laughs> so I've been playing around in single player, running through different scenarios and stuff. Okay, yeah. Because I always because nice I success. I like. Well, I like to um. I like to do my vehicle development in survival. Because things don't act the same way in creative. Do they not? No, there's a lot of things that are like they don't, they kind of like don't apply. I guess in things like heat and uh, I don't know. Yeah, and fuel and weight and. Oh, okay. <laughs> pretty so, yeah, pretty major things, a, really. <laughs> yeah, if you build a, a something that's supposed to like parachute down to the ground in creative, one parachute will carry as much weight as you want it to. Survival. No, not so much. You better have enough parachutes. This guy may not even do what I wanted to do, but it's just too cool not to have one. Energy. I'm kind of thinking that the same with this skidoo, you know? It might not even do what I think it should do, but I'm just kind of slapping things together and going, all right, how do we address the next issue? Like, I'm, I'm fast realizing power is the next issue. <laughs> it looks like the the Emperor's new plans for, uh, for uh, like, super weapon of just some description with this new plan the empire will be ours <laughs> you're close you're close this is right by my welder i'm gonna play with the welder oh it's off it's doing its thing it is taking oh 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 look at this Oh, and it's showing me the buildable blocks as they move out. Ah, uh, I I was misunderstanding. I think I thought it was the building blocks that I could do with the materials in my hand. But it's actually what is even possible to place yeah, what, next what, to. Yeah. Exactly. Though so this this welding machine, this is this is voodoo. I like this. Uh, this is this is like what really got me hooked on the game right here. <laughs> I've got to ask. I've just, I've just taken, taken stock of the silhouette of what I'm seeing in front of here. Did you base this on a Dalek? Yes. Yeah. It's nice. a Starlet. Wow. It's quite intimidating from the front. It has to be said. Definitely looks intimidating from the front. Yeah, you would think this is really good. It, it made it more for the looks than anything. <laughs> what, what's the scary part is look underneath. I, I saw, I saw these when, when this, uh, this skirt thing hadn't been fully, fully finished. Oh, and a camera. That's nice. But yeah, I saw yeah. I saw these under here. I was like, whoop, remind me to stay clear of that. It eats drones. You know those little drop things that fall out of the sky? Oh, yes. Oh, what a great idea. It goes and, goes and eats those. Suspension sideways. <laughs> it, it wanted to do it. It was happy to do so. <laughs> oh, it can go in any orientation you want, but, uh, huh? Oh, okay. We'll see what it does. Interesting. Yeah, I guess. We'll oh, see what happens. They're, they're not put down on the same orange. This this wheel is more forwards than this one. <laughs> so the whole reason I made this guy is I'm hoping, and I doubt it, I'm hoping to be able to pick up the solar panel. Oh, yeah. Good idea. If you, uh, if you want a blueprint of a vehicle... Yes. I just was redeveloping one um, from the Moon Rover. Oh, really? There's a, like, yeah, the Moon Rover drop pod. Um, I redesigned it to be a, um, and I called it the Crayfish. I'll tell you one thing it, I am struggling with right now. Holes. I cannot get another yeah. wheel on this other side. I have, mm -hmm. I have both tried to, to place it down. I've also gone into the ship's menu. Where you can press K and look at the suspension. It's even got like add wheel underneath it, but it's just not. It has that. Yeah, it can't intersect with any voxels, which is what the wheel would be in the ground, right? Yeah, right, right. Un unfortunately, it was hanging up in the air. I, I turned my uh, my landing gear on and off, and now we're at this weird angle trying to see whether because it was hanging in the air, I wasn't. Okay, hang on. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, this is That's what we want to see. That's why I built Yes. <laughs> Oh, the Sardak will come and get it. Did anything ha it, it happen? All right. Yeah, there it is. Beautiful. Now I've got to remember that F is the key to get out, not K. Well, thank you very much for yours and Sarlacc's help. <laughs> okay, now we need a power source on here. What is the power source of choice for vehicles? Battery. Battery. Now, the reason I, one of the reasons I like this guy, or, well, I might make some other versions of him, Yep. Because you can take your blueprints and add them as clonable things that come after you. 
Oh, really? Oh. 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 <laughs> that sounds terrifying. Uh, if, if, you're, if you're, like, building against yourself, it kind of leads to a self-imposed arms race, right? Where you, you have to get better yeah. against your own equipment. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah, when the sun comes up, I'll be able to project another drone. <laughs> this little tiny battery did not last long. <laughs> yeah, it's a problem with small bat batteries, right? But then, you know, you, you, you're uh, trading off size for convenience. It's a little big. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. I like it. Yeah, I, I, I think what I want to do is put a couple... Yeah, let's rip it down. I'm going to put a couple of extra things coming out the back and then put it vertical. Okay, I was going to say, you got a gyroscope on there? But yeah, you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though I'm fairly sure I'm still going to spend almost all my entire time spinning around and being like, help, I can't control this. <laughs> you can always use the tiny little one-by-one -one wheels to uh, stabilize. Yeah, I think I might. I'm just going to need something at the back. I was thinking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how it rolls. We'll see how it rolls. I need sun up. This is the problem. I need the sun to come up. Well, you got a third. Of, your battery should be a third way charged when you first build them. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Let's let's yeah. give this a go then. Mm, I've got some roll. I think I may have not set things up right. Well, your 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 suspension is. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh look at that. Oh yeah. But it should still drive forwards, right? And I'm not getting that. Yeah. Get power draw, but no, no move. All right, let's let's rip these legs apart then. That that's the way it wants to go. It uh, looks like we're good actually. It looks like we're good. That's upside down. Is it upside down? All right. How do you tell? What is the what's the the marker here? See the the, the little. Ah, oh, the, the rounded end bit goes upwards. All right, I get you. Point it up. Yes. <laughs> this one has not made a wheel. This might be where I need a lift. Oh, I can't really. Well, I tell you what. I think you leaning that way. Ooh, oh, was it happened? was it my weight? Oh, I got out. Is that what happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow! Too wow! Too okay. Too, too many Cheetos. <laughs> Sounds like it. Ooh, if I enter the control seat again, because I need to do this to uh, turn. Oh the yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, this is good. This is good. Let's uh, do this. Got the wheels on it. Yeah, that's that one. Uh, now I want to rip this one up and uh, put it, move it back. Suddenly the gyro on this is going, making oversteering. Hey, here we go. There we go. Is that the right way up? No, it's the wrong way up. Of course I put it up so it's upside down. Uh, oh, I really need to learn these keys quicker. Eight minutes. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. I always have trouble with rotations. You good? That I'm is dropping it. it. Beautiful. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, and you're away with it again. <laughs> Got something approaching movement. It really doesn't want to go anywhere. Well, I mean, landing gear does have a lot of friction. Yeah, it looks like that's the thing that I'm going to have to... Oh, that's a shame. That is a, that is legitimately a shame. All right, well, we'll have to just build something better. Actually, I kind of disagree. It's not graceful, not by too much of a stretch of imagination, but... It definitely does what it needs to do, even though it will do that occasionally. But I can just pull myself out. Look at this. So I'm using a combination of mouse control and wheel control. I think the mouse controls the gyro. If I put my put my view back round to here, uh, I think my mouse controls the gyro. And if I like spin hard, uh, we can go in the direction I need to go. Uh, it works a little bit like a, uh, a a light sail, if you will, like a sail ship. The uh, the solar panel needs to have sunlight else the wheels will just steal all of the power almost instantly viewers if you have any ideas this is by far an idea based uh, series so give, give me give me give me your ideas as ridiculous as they come because I want to make ridiculous stuff yes we gotta have ridiculous stuff so we can blow ridiculous things up <laughs> but anyway I'm gonna enter this cryo chamber and say bye